so let's get started with some facts. About one-third of all computers are affected with some form of malware. I mean, that's pretty serious. Okay, so a little over 30%, um, according to statistics online. Um, based on this, we should definitely do some checks periodically just to see what's going on. So let's get to it. What you want to do, you go to your Windows computer here, all right? Let's close down some of these windows. We are going to go to the command prompt. And the way that you get that up is CMD. Once you get the command prompt up, then what we want to do is type in something called net stack. And what this does is it's going to give us all the statistics for our connections on our system. We're going to do a dash A N O, and then this is going to list all of our connections, whether they are established or not. Okay, some of them, whether or not they're listening. What we want to concern ourselves with is the established connections and then we want to look at the foreign address now anything that has 127 that's just local host we're not interested in that so why don't we go ahead and look and determine what we should look at find out where this IP address is located so Let's just uh, go ahead and do the first one, all right? So what we have here is the 34. Do the one that starts with 34. Now we're gonna go to any website that'll look up um, statistics according to IP address. This one is called, what is my IP address? And what we want to do is type, you know what? Here, let's use the one that I just typed in a little earlier. We got. 204 79 197 and triple so here's what we have isp microsoft state washington city redmond no this has to do with our services and established connection with our operating system this would not be suspicious in any way all right and you're gonna find a lot of these on your system why don't we go ahead and try another one three four one oh seven two five four two five two and then we'll search this one here we have ISP Google, and this here is in the state region of Missouri, Kansas City. And here is the host name over here. So this is nothing more than just the Google website. So ideally, you want to shut down as many browser windows as you can to not interrupt with this process. So let's go ahead and try another one. Now keep in mind, I did um, set this up so that there is going to be one that's malicious. So, and this is going to be the one. Okay, now let's just say that you find an IP address that seems a little suspicious and you're not really sure. So what you want to do is use a program like Zone Alarm. This is free to use and it's effective. You can block an IP address if you find one that you feel warrants some attention. For example, like there's no reason why there should be an established connection in a city in a country that you have no clue why your computer is connecting to that computer. What you want to do is go to advanced. It's 
Step one, you go to settings. Step two, you go to advanced settings. Then you want to view zones. Then you click add IP address. And you are going to go ahead and cut and paste, let's say, this particular IP address. And we're going to put blocked. Okay. So now you just went ahead and blocked that. So at this point, if you do another netstat dash a and o, you'll see that that IP address is not there anymore. So again, this is a very simple way to get some kind of an idea of whether or not your computer is compromised and what to do about it. All we're doing is we're using a command prompt, netstat, and then if we want to go ahead and block an IP, we're using something called zone alarm. Um, however, there's many programs out there, and this will allow you to black that, block that IP. Once you do that, then you can do a malware scan or, or just figure out where that's coming from. But the main thing is you've locked down your system, um, especially if you see some system resources are just out of control. And there's another method that you can have a look at. Control, Alt, and Delete, Task Manager. Once you put the Task Manager up, this is going to give you some kind of an idea of what is going on on your computer. If you see processes that are taking up a ton of memory, CPU usage, oftentimes that is a red flag and then you can go ahead and you know take the next step from that. Okay, so another method, open up your task manager, see what's going on. You can manually go ahead and shut that down. You're just going to go ahead and click here and task.